Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna do an update on the 125 gallon and what plans I have for the future and what I got in. So recently I got in some more plants and I cut some plants and propagated them. So I got in this mermaid weed uh, today actually and then I trimmed and replanted the Rotala, um, no not Rotala, Ludwiga. Yeah, Ludwiga dark red and Ludwiga green or red, one of the two. And then I also got this Rotala indica over here. And some Crypt Balanace and some Dwarf Baby Tears. I am going to rescape this whole tank, so it's going to change quite dramatically and I'm gonna put in some wood and I'm just kinda letting these plants get used to the water and convert to submerged grown plants instead of the immersed. So well, my plans for the tank are to build up a pile of rocks in sand over here and put some driftwood probably this piece and make more of a like hilled uh, aquascape and i'll definitely show you guys that after it's done i also added in some of these i found these pearl garamis but they're not like your standard pearl garami they're more um of a leucistic version and i also added in some mollies i plan on removing the tiger barbs from this tank only because they keep nipping at my catfish in here and I don't like it. And also I wanna add in some angels with the geophagus I have in here. And I don't think they're gonna get along too well. I don't plan on getting rid of them. I plan on them putting them in a 75 gallon once I get it um, or in the pond once I build that. So I love tiger barbs. They're just being a little too boisterous in this tank. The blood parrot will probably go in the 75 gallon as well. The green terror, if he starts to be a problem. Now, I, my, you guys might have seen the algae on the glass, and I plan on getting rid of that algae with some fertilizers that I'm gonna put in here, or coming in and manually scraping it. I do have four Placostomus uh, calico bristle nose in here. However, they don't like really eat on the front glass because the tiger barbs, once again, pick at them. Um, as well as the other catfish. You can see down here this uh, Colombian catfish He gets picked on quite a bit by the tiger barbs and I want to get him in a different tank probably the 75 gallon He has to be brackish water eventually though So everybody's doing well eating happy healthy um, I did lose a Bolivian ram. I think it was another male and that this big male right here just wouldn't leave him alone and yeah I, I don't know what happened I didn't do meds because he didn't show any signs of parasites or bacterial infections I think he just got out competed I do feed a lot but I think the male just put a real beating on him then I love my electric blue Jack Dempsey he is beautiful they're slow growers surprisingly compared to the green terror but uh yeah, and I got some Cory pandas uh, that I also added in here, and they're doing pretty well. I don't see them, but they're in there. And then the black ghost knife is also in here. One day I'll get a shot. He does come out occasionally, um, and I had mentioned that I was worried about him not being in the tank. He is in the tank. Um, I don't see him eat, so I do try to feed blood worms and other things, but again, the tiger barbs eat a lot of the food. It makes it really difficult to feed some of the other fish. Even my Geophagus wine milleri do have trouble getting to the food as the tiger barbs outcompete them as well. And I have to put a lot more food in and do a lot more water changes. And it's just not worth it in this environment. Um, a lot of the other fish are suffering because of their presence. And I don't, I don't like that. I like to have a very harmonious community tank that all fish can grow healthily in not lose them. Like, I feel really bad that that Bolivian ram died um, about a week ago, I think. And I, I didn't, you know, there was not much I could do other than keep feeding. And I thought he was doing okay and he looked okay. And then I think this male got to him and then just not being able to get enough food. Even though I do feed a lot, I can only feed as much as I'm gonna water change. And as you can see, like the tiger barbs are really full and so are the clown loaches so a lot of food does get in here but i think the bolivian ram was mostly for the male com competitive nature and that this male just really didn't want him in the tank unfortunately 
But yeah, I will be doing updates on when the tank is fully re aquascaped and done. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.